Hey guys, welcome back. So in the last video we set up our game win condition. In this one we'll set up our game lose condition. And what I've done is I've created a board which uh, is just one move away from losing. So when I hit the up key, uh, these two eights are going to merge. And there's going to be either a two or a four here. Um, which in either case I'm going to lose. So uh, that's just to make our checking convenient. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write a function which uh, will check game over. So let's just call it check game over. And uh, here what I do is I get the board matrix first. So board matrix equals this dot state. And then I run uh, two loops, my i and j loops. And um, i less than 3, i plus plus, similarly for the j loop. For let j equal 0, j less than 3, j plus plus. And now what I do, the first thing I want to do is I want to check whether uh, that element is 0. If it is 0, then that means there's a blank space on the board, which means that uh, there's definitely a move that the player can play. So if uh, board matrix i comma j is zero then um, I don't even need the parents uh, the braces here and I, I'm just going to say a return here and uh, we'll see why the next con condition that I want to put is if board matrix of uh, I comma J is equal to board matrix of I minus one comma J which means that uh, the element to the left of this element is uh, is equal to this one so one thing I'll have to check here is that I should not be equal to 0 because if I is 0 then I minus 1 uh, is just going to be min minus 1 which won't mean anything so I add a return here as well and uh, similarly I need this condition three more times for our uh, other checks so let's just Paste this thrice so now what we do is we change this to i not equals 3 and I change this to an i plus 1 I go here and I do this for j so for j it would be i comma j minus 1 j minus 1 here and uh, finally I have j not equal to 3 and uh, j plus 1 here so now the reason I'm doing all of these returns is because after all of these uh, both of these loops run what I'll do is I'll just do a this dot set state and I'll just set it to game lost is true and the only condition in which it's going to actually uh, uh, reach this statement is if none of these returns are actually executed which means that none of my conditions were satisfied and uh, you can check this the, all of these conditions that we've put all together mean that the board is full and there is no move that the player can make the simplest way to actually uh, invoke this check game over function is to do it within our pop random function so here what I do is I just do this dot check game over game over and uh, this should work now let's go back to our um, game and try this out so when I hit up now as you can see it says game over uh, click anywhere to start a new game and my score is 16 which is because I merged these two eights here so this is pretty cool we have set up our uh, game over condition for both winning and losing so right now if we click to start a new game that's not going to start a new game so what we'll do is in the next video we'll set up this uh, new game functionality both for uh, clicking here as well as for the new game button so we'll do that in the next video I'll see you there but in the meanwhile don't forget to give this video a like 
subscribe to my channel if you haven't already so that you know when the next video is up and share the video with your friends. I'll see you next time.